YouTube, yeah, yo, Big Lou, tapping back in with what it do with Big Lou, NFZR2, baby, baby. So I don't know if you can tell from that thumbnail, but that's uh, P. Diddy, right? Puff Daddy, Diddy, Sean Puffy Combs, right? Man, I don't know what's going on with this cat. Um, what last week they, that video, the little short clip video came out of him chasing down his his girl at the time. I think what's her name, Cassie Ventura, I think it is, chasing her down the motel hallway and catching her at the elevator where he throws her down, kicks her, and then proceeds to drag her or whatever. There's a lot of shit coming out about this dude. Um, he currently has eight lawsuits against going against him, seven of them for sexual assault. Um, uh, you know, we already know that uh, I believe it was, I know it was, I know it was the feds, but I'm not, I can't remember if it was the, if it was the FBI that raided his California property and his Miami property. Um, yeah, cause it had to be either the DEA, the ATF or the FBI that raided his house. Uh, well, I'm going to get to an article right here in a minute, but, um, supposedly they confiscated a lot of stuff. Um, and, and what I seen reported today on TV, uh, I've, I've been watching TV the last couple of days. <laughs> I ain't watched TV and I don't know how long, but, uh, it was reported that uh, they are conducting interviews with the Department of Justice with some of these people, and these, uh, these litigants in, in these lawsuits, and probably more than just that. But apparently they're having interviews, and, you know, at somewhere they'll decide, obviously, uh, to bring charge if they're going to bring charges or whatever. It's been claimed, too, that he's been part of a sex ring or something like that. I don't know. I'm not saying it's all true, but if it is true, uh, he goes in that list to me. Uh, Donald Dump, Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, Harvey Weinstein, uh, uh, even Mike Tyson, uh, Tupac, even Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Tupac had a case he went to prison for, and upon his death, it, there was a another uh, investigation that was possibly about to start somebody had came forward and said the same thing again. You know, a lot of these dudes get into this, in this position of being powerful, you know, with wealth and fame, or more fame with some of them before they become really wealthy, but in P. Diddy's case, very wealthy, right? He came up the ladder under the right people, uh, under, what's the name, the old man, uh, he's still alive, too. Uh, I said his name the other day, I can't think of it right now. Um, but on, he came up under Andre Harrell as well. Andre Harrell's dead. A lot of these people died very young that he was around. Um, even when it came to uh, T.D. Jakes, like what the hell is he doing at rap mongols, moguls, rap moguls parties and stuff? He got no business being around that stuff, period. So here we go. This is from Marka. The public fallout from Sean Diddy Combs continues as brands distance himself from the music mogul following allegations of assault and misconduct. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, the Pel Peloton, they, they removed all his music from their playlist. Um, in the wake of the viral video depicting an altercation with his girlfriend, ex-girlfriend Cassie, Diddy reputation has taken a severe hit resulting in tangible financial repercussions. That was another thing. He, he, he came out publicly with a, uh, uh, apology video but he he all he said was oh i'm disgusted with that i'm disgusted with it to this day but he he made no like it was uh i mean i guess he got it done for what he was trying to do but it was very weak yeah, a lot of people critiqued it excuse me he didn't say nothing about you know her name or anything it could be because of the lawsuit maybe 
Um, one notable development is the decision by America's best contacts and eyeglasses to halt sales of Diddy's Sean John frames. According to TMZ, the eyewear retailer has removed the frames from both physical stores and its online platform. While a specific reason for the, his, this action has not been disclosed, it underscores the impact of Diddy's tarnished image on the in his business ventures. That's gotta that's gotta hurt, right? Because I don't think he's really in the music business no more. He's moved on to like alcohol and different things. Uh, oh, here we go, right here. Peloton, the popular fitness company, has taken steps to distance itself from Diddy after a member of the company's private Facebook group called for the removal of Diddy's music from from the platform. Peloton responded by pausing the use of his music and removing the Bad Boy Entertainment Artist series from its from its classes. This move reflects a broader trend of companies reevaluating their associations with Diddy in the light of the allegations against him. See, a lot of times, too, just allegations enough is a, allegations itself is enough to for businesses to distance themselves if they're, if they're in partnership or anything like that. Diddy is seeing declines on all facets of his businesses. The repercussions extend beyond brand partnerships to Diddy, Diddy's music career. Billboard recently reported a decline in radio spins for the artists following accusations of rape and abuse made by Cassie and others. Analysts from the Luminant reveals a significant drop in airplay for Diddy's music since the allegations surfaced. In the weeks following the initial lawsuit in November of 2023, his radio spins decreased by 28% with further declines observed after subsequent legal actions. The latest data from March 2024 paints a bleak picture for Diddy's music career with a staggering 88% drop in radio spins and 83% decrease in audience reach since mid-November. This downward trend underscores the lasting impact of allegations on Diddy's standing in the industry. Wow, 88% and 83%, that's huge. As Diddy grapples with the fallout from these allegations, the financial implications serve as a stark reminder of the real world consequences of his actions. With brands distancing themselves and radio spins plummeting, the road to redemption appears increasingly challenging for the once prominent music mogul. So yeah, I mean, I mean, you're talking 88%, 83%. That's, I mean, how, that's not far from 100%. I mean, you know, you're talking about every eight shots that you, you know, every eight and a half shots you take, you're missing. You know what I mean? Uh, every eight, every 10 shots you take, you're missing at eight and a half shots. You know what I'm saying? Or every hundred shots you take, you're missing 88 of them and 83 of them. That's, that's a big hit, right? You know, so, and um, he's not, I don't think he's made music in a while. I'm not really sure where Bad Boy is right now. Like, I don't think they're active, actively making music. Like I said, I know he's moved on to other business ventures. Like, I think he can have, no, I think that was uh, 50 cents at the water. I know he's got alcohol on some other things, the eyeglasses, and he's got the Sean John. I know that. Um, and he's probably got his hands on a bunch of other stuff. It's, you know, this dude's a multi, multi-millionaire. He ain't, you know, he's not just worth, you know, five, 10 million. This dude is worth probably, I'm not sure if he's a billionaire. He could be close to a billionaire. I'm not really sure. But he's worth hundreds of millions. That's hundreds of millions. That's for sure. Uh, just goes to show you, you can't be, you know, people get to this power level, you know, like Donald Dump, for example. He, you know, he's almost 80 years old. He's always had it his way. He's always ran things his way. Everything had to be ran his way through. Everything went through him, had to be ran through him. And now he's in court. He, he don't have, he, don't, he ain't going to do what he wants in the court. And that's why he comes out with this rig shit and, oh, this and that and, and this is the same way the New York law has been for hundreds of years, a hundred years already, the way defendants have to fight their cases. He's nobody special. You know what I'm saying? Even though he thinks he's special, he's not special. He's a piece of shit that likes to fucking touch women, grab them and do other kinds of shit with them. And you can say, oh, that was just talk. That was just locker room talk. Bullshit. Because when he did his uh, deposition, when they brought up the, that tape, when he, that, 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 that tape with Billy Bush about grabbing women by the by their privates. When they asked him about it, he didn't say, "Oh, that was just locker room talk." No, what he said was, "When you're a star, you can do that." 
he said un, he said fortunately and sometimes unfortunately so there it is there you know he thinks he's special and he thinks he can do what he wants and he and he's learning now he can't do what he wants and he's got to be held accountable you know you uh don't bitch and complain about oh i can't get a fair trial in new york then don't don't commit crimes in new york then fool it's that simple keep doing your crimes in fucking florida where they'll you know what i'm saying help you out along the way like with judge lane cannon's doing somebody that's very unqualified for the position and that's more of what we'll see and this ain't even about him but uh these people birds from the same feather flock together lawrence taylor he's another one you know what i'm saying uh it, it, they're sick people they're sick people in the head and um they're just they got no they're they don't they don't belong carl malone's another one even though he's never been caught or he's never been arrested but he had a kid from a teenage girl you know what i'm saying um that's some sick shit man and with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and close on out on this one i got another one coming back to back on this one maybe two a uh, boxing and then uh maybe a baseball one so with that being said, Big Lou, tapping out. Baby, baby.